Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Ah, I am so excited about this video. So I asked y'all in two videos ago, I believe, two or three videos ago, I asked y'all if you wanted to see a haul try-on video of my new MAC products as well as Mob. And overwhelmingly, all of y'all said, I think there was only one person that said they didn't want to see a haul. So to that person, I'm sorry. But the majority said they wanted to uh, see a haul and try on. So I have all of my goodies here. And um, the only reason I picked up these products to begin with is Mac and Mop were both having a sale. Mac was having a 30% off all of their fall favorites. And then Mop was 20% off site-wide. I've already dug into all the products and I'm excited to put them on my face finally and actually show y'all uh, on my channel. So anyway, I've already done my brows. I've made myself a coffee. I have not done skin prep yet, so I'll do that with y'all today. If you wanna grab your makeup, grab a drink, grab a snack, sit down. You can um, sit here and do your makeup with me or you can just sit back, chill, relax, and enjoy this time for yourself. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Cheers. So something else that I also asked y'all is if you like seeing my full routine, like priming, foundation, concealer, all that stuff. And everyone said yes, like keep it in the video. Don't do it off camera, like show us the whole thing. So I don't think I had anyone that said they didn't want that. So I think I'm pleasing everyone by doing a uh, prep and foundation on camera. So thank y'all so much for like there was so much feedback on that one video that I asked y'all to give me feedback and I got so much feedback. So I really, really appreciate everyone taking the time to leave a comment, leave some feedback and let me know. Um, that was very, very helpful. So we are gonna go and prep the skin. I don't have anything on my face. I just cleansed it. Um, so I'm actually gonna take my Clara and Fritz Tallow Night Cream. This is the counterpane night cream. I usually use her whipped tallow balm but um, I'm just feeling this, it's a little bit thicker. It's not whipped, so it has a slightly different texture and I feel like it's a little bit more heavy, which um, I'm really wanting right now. My skin's feeling a little bit dry, so. I use this as my eye cream. I use it on my body. I wear this stuff everywhere. I put it on my lips. All of her tallow products are so beautiful. I do have a discount code. This is not sponsored, but I do have a uh, consistent discount code with her. So every purchase you make, you can use my discount code multiple times of beautiful, beautiful products. And it's the only skincare that I use. Besides my cleanser, this is the only skincare that I used and I'm obsessed with it. So now I'm gonna go in with my Studio Radiance Primer. This is not necessary. I just love the way that this sits under makeup. And one final step, I'm gonna go in with MAC Strobe Dewy Skin Tint, and then I promise we will get into the new stuff. But these are just my normal steps that I always do. This is in the shade Medium 2. And the foundation that I'm gonna be wearing today has a little bit more of a matte finish. So I love wearing Strobe Dewy Skin Tint underneath more matte foundations. I just think it looks so beautiful because it gives me that lit from within kind of radiance but the oil and shine is more controlled all right so i have opened all of these products uh, but i did keep the box so we could do a proper unboxing so this was such a random purchase it was on sale it was on the fall favorites and i've actually been wanting to buy the palette of their full coverage cream foundation so i almost bought that then i was like no i don't want a huge foundation palette there's no reason for that like as much as i would love to have that and have all the shade options and i can bronze and contour and correct and basically do what like a million different things with this palette just size wise it's just a huge palette and i didn't want to get it so i just got the individual this is the full coverage cream foundation mine is disgusting because i've already used it um and this is what it looks like this is a pro product you can buy this online and you can get it in mac pro stores but you can't get it in ulta's or um like Mac counters at a department store. I'd seen a couple people talk about this. I saw Miss Megan talk about it a, a few times and I've always just been really intrigued to try it. I love their Studio Fix Tech Cream to Powder. 
foundation. This is one of my favorites. Y'all know I use this all the time. I've always just been really intrigued to try this. So I went ahead and picked it up. I got this in the shade NC30. The shade range on this particular foundation is not as expansive as all of their other foundations. It's a little bit of a heavier foundation. It's very full coverage. But me personally, I love full coverage foundations because they're very versatile. Just depending on the method of application, how much product you use, mixing in other products, you can really make this basically any level of coverage foundation you want. What I've been doing is wearing this alone. And then what I've also been doing is mixing in my other favorite foundation from MAC, which is Studio Fix Fluid. I've actually just been scraping out a little bit of this into the cap and then just taking a pump of Studio Fix, mixing those together. And that's actually what I wore to church yesterday and it was stunning. It was so gorgeous. But I have worn this alone. It's beautiful and that's what I'm gonna do today just to show y'all how it applies by itself. You get a full ounce of product in this cream foundation. So you are getting the same amount of product in here as you are in here. Whereas something like Studio Fix Tech, you're only getting 0.35 ounces. And honestly, when you feel it, it's a heavy compact. Like there's a lot of product in here. So what I have found has been my favorite way to apply this is with a more dense brush. And the one that I've found the most, that I feel like just for me, um, that has worked the best is the MAC 170. It's nice and dense. I can really push it in, I can buff it in. It's just a really good foundation. I like these two together. So you can dip directly into the product. You can take the end of your brush, scrape it out on the back of your hand and kind of use your hand as a palette, mix in a primer, a moisturizer, an oil, um, another foundation. But today I'm just gonna show y'all how this applies by itself. So I'm just gonna dip directly into the foundation and a little goes a long way as you can see. Um, again, she's full coverage, but you can definitely sheer it out with a little bit of product, spread it across a large surface area, or mix in other products to sheer it out. But I'll do one side of my face. This, if you really build it up, this will cover everything. And honestly, a product like this, you would think it would feel really heavy on the skin, but I built this up to basically full coverage the first time I wore it, just so I could see what it felt like, how it wore, and it did not feel heavy to me at all. And I'm very sensitive to that. I do not like when foundations feel super heavy on the skin, like I'm wearing a layer of foundation on my face, and I felt like this one did not do that. It does not feel heavy, it doesn't look heavy, it wears beautifully depending on how you prep your skin. Because I have strobe dewy skin tint, I have the the tallow underneath, I have Studio Radiance Primer, like we're getting a lot of that shine. But if you don't want that kind of shine, then you can definitely prep your skin more matte. So just however you prep your skin, this foundation is kinda, kinda take on the finish of whatever is underneath. Yeah, look how nice that is. It's really, really nice. Like even though it's, pretty full coverage. I could definitely build it up on some of these um, spots right here, but yeah, it's, it's nice. It's still breathable. So I have really been enjoying this so far. I, there's still a few uh, different ways I want to try it. So I'm going to go and do the other side and kind of build this up to more of a full coverage so you can see the versatility of this product. All right, so that's the foundation. Again, I just wanted to try it for just out of curiosity because I just love MAC foundations. They truly just make great products. And this has been in the MAC line for years and years and years. So had to try it while it was on sale and I'm not disappointed. I actually really like it. And I like um, making little foundation cocktails with it. Okay, so I'm still gonna go in with my Prep and Prime in Bright Forecast. And I'm just gonna use that on my under eyes, but then for the rest of my face, I'm actually going to use this foundation because if I'm not mistaken, I've heard this from several people, but this is the same formula as their Studio Fix Conceal and Correct Palette and even their Potted Studio Fix Concealer, if I'm not mistaken. I've heard that from several people 
I don't know that for sure, but I am going to use this to build up a few little spots on my face. So the tool that you use with this product really makes a difference on the coverage level that you get. When you use something quite dense, like the MAC 170, you're really gonna get that instant payoff. Maybe something like this that's got a little bit more give to it. It's not gonna give you that instant coverage. So I'm gonna go in with my BK Beauty N14 brush and really pinpoint this foundation on areas that I want more coverage. And this is gonna be both my foundation and my concealer. And that's why I love using this mixed in with other products as my foundation. And then I can just go in with this and spot conceal certain areas that I want more coverage. Cause you can almost make like a skin tint, tinted moisturizer with this product and then also use it as your concealer. It's just, it's kind of an all in one product. It's really nice. I really like the formula. Again, it doesn't feel too heavy. So we'll go ahead and use the mob cream clay bronzer this is in the shade m77 i am just trying to use this up i don't want to get rid of it quite yet because i feel like there's still a good amount of product in there and i'm taking this on my sephora 64 brush all right and then i'm gonna go back in with the full coverage cream foundation and apply some of that to my under eyes. I'm also gonna take a little bit just to clean up my cream bronzer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder, as always, in the shade Buff. And then for bronzer, I'm gonna use Mineralize Skin Finish Natural and Give Me Sun. Not new, but my favorite bronzer to ever exist. And I do want a little bit of extra contour today, so I'm gonna go in with the Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette in light medium, and I usually just mix these bottom shades. And I'm just going to place that on the backs of my cheekbones. All right, so let's use some of these new Mob Cream blushes. I have used their Cream Clay Blush formula before, so this is not a new formula to me. Um, but I think I'm gonna start with this one and then maybe add this on top uh, this is such a nice formula I actually posted a video on my Instagram Vic talking about the very unique formula that they use for their cream clay br blushes and cream clay bronzers and cream clay eyeshadows and the clay uh, uh, material I, I don't know what the right word is um, that they use he put it on a melting plate and he also put wax on the melting plate which is typically what you would use with cream blushes or cream products and the wax melted immediately whereas the clay substance that they put in their uh, blush bronzers and eyeshadows it did not and I do feel that when I'm wearing it it doesn't just turn into oil on the skin it's very long wearing it almost has like this cream to powder feel to it if you ever get to just feel the texture of them um, you kind of feel that little bit of a matteness to it but it's not drying it's a really really beautiful formula and I love how they show the behind the scenes of how they formulate their products because um, it really just sh like shows you why the product works so well so that was M74 now I'm gonna go in with M72 and I'm gonna pop this lighter shade more towards the front of my cheek. So pretty. So if you want to try cream blush, you wanna add a cream blush into your routine, but you're just afraid of using creams, whether you have oily skin or you've just had a bad experience with cream blushes, these are definitely worth a try. So I do have a new powder blush because I've never owned this formula and I really, really wanted to try it and it was on sale. Uh, during the MAC sale. So I picked up one of their extra dimension blushes. I have their extra dimension eyeshadows, their extra dimension highlighters, but I've never tried their extra, extra dimension blushes. So I picked up the shade Hushed Tone, which I thought was just such a nice, kind of more neutral, I don't know, maybe neutral is not the right word. I don't know how to describe the shade, but it kind of has like a burnt look to it. And I thought it would be really pretty all year round, but especially in the fall time. 
I just thought this shade was really, really cool. Um, kind of reminds me of Sunbask, actually. Let me see if I can grab Sunbask. So this is a sheer tone shimmer blush, and then this is hushed tone. So I feel like the undertone of these is very similar. Kind also actually very reminiscent of Gingerly, which is this top lighter one. So you can kind of see the family of blushes that I like. Actually, it looks kind of looks like raisin too. And it looks very reflective in the uh, pot, which it does have a nice pearlescence to it, but it's not overly shiny. Cause I also don't like blushes that are, oh, do I have a hair on my face? I also don't like blushes that are just a bunch of chunky shimmer and glitter. This is not that at all. It's a really nice like pearlescent, nothing chunky. But, oh, it's so pretty. You definitely don't need a highlighter with this if you don't want any extra glow because they're already really, really, oh, they're so beautiful on the cheek. Gives you dewy, juicy cheek without cream blush if you don't want to use cream blush. I am going to go in with Global Glow because I just can't help myself. I use this to kind of marry all of my cheek products together. Totally not necessary, but it's just a step that I like to do. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and spray down with Fix Plus. I realized I didn't swatch any of the blushes, at least the cream blushes. So I'm gonna swatch all of the blushes that I got next to each other. I'm so sorry. I totally meant to swatch everything and then I just got into the makeup and I didn't. So I'll swatch the cream blushes and I'll also swatch the MAC blush. All right, so these are all the blushes. These are the two mob cream clay blushes and this is the MAC blush. So this is M172. M174, and then the Extra Dimension Blush from MAC in the shade Hush Tone. So as you can see, I kind of have a little bit of a preference when it comes to blush tones, but it's so pretty. It's almost like a little bit of plummy berryness, but a little more on the warm side. I just like these tones on my cheek. So anyway, just wanted to swatch those for you before we moved on to the eyeshadows. So um, I want to play with the cake liner in M116. I have used their cake liner before, but it was their black, and that was actually when they first, first launched. Um, so I haven't tried any of their other colors. They actually have a bunch of colors now, and they have expanded the shade range of the cake liner, which I think is really cool. And I know this is a, uh, a favorite of Alicia's. Um, I remember when I was on the Zoom call with her and Vic, uh, she had mentioned that cake liner was um, like one of her favorite products. So we're gonna try that out today. Let's see if I can find a brush here. You're supposed to wet your brush before using cake liner. It is designed to be used wet. So I'm gonna spray my brush with Fix Plus. This is the BK Beauty N11. And then I'm gonna dip directly into the cake liner. Just kind of play around with this. I don't wanna do anything too, too crazy, but play with a little winged liner today. I don't have anything on my eyes. I probably should have put something on my eyes, but that's fine. Oh, that's a really pretty color. Yeah, it's like a, let me see if I can swatch it. The texture is very different. Like when you touch it, it's a very, very stiff texture. Um, but that's it right there, M116. Actually, it's kind of the color of a tattoo like a faded black tattoo. I don't know if you can spray directly into the pan, um, but I find with these, like you really need to saturate your brush and get a good amount of water on there. And when it dries, it should not transfer so far. I think I'm gonna take a little Q-tip and kind of shave this side down a little bit. I got a little too elevated there. I love this color. All right, so that's the liner. Really pretty, really easy to apply, honestly. Um, but I love that they have all these just different, unique colors for eyeliners. 
They had this really cool chartreuse color that I almost got, but I was like, am I ever really gonna wear that? Probably not. And then I was thinking of applying Sparkle Balm on top of this. I don't know how the formulas are gonna mesh or if Sparkle Balm will disrupt my liner. I don't know, we'll just, we'll find out together. <laughs> I'm just taking MAC, MAC Stack Mascara. I'm gonna let that dry before I do anything else in the eyes. But I did want to mention I did get another eye coal from MAC um, because these were on sale and I've been wanting this color for the longest time. It's the shade Prunella and it's a really pretty um, deep kind of eggplant purple. So that's Prunella. I just love this color. I love purples on my eyes. And I couldn't believe I didn't have this shade in my collection. I don't actually, I don't think I have any purple, like dark purple eyeliners like this. So I definitely wanted to get this for my collection and I will be using this. All right, so I'm gonna let my mascara dry a little bit more. We'll move on to the lip because that's the majority of my MAC haul. One of them y'all have already seen in my last couple videos, um, but I picked up their new grayish lip pencil um i've swatched this so many times already but just in case y'all missed it mac just launched a bunch of new lip liner colors as well as their new maximal sleek satin lipsticks i did not pick up a shade of one of those shades because i want to go in store and swatch them um there's so many that i were like i was kind of on the fence about and i just couldn't make a decision so, and they weren't on sale. So I was like, well, I might as well just go in store. And then I picked up a bunch of frost lipsticks. So I picked up one of their limited edition bring back shades. This is the shade Chintz. When these came out, I was so drawn to this color. Um, it's this really pretty, um, like bronzy, like brown with, it's like a gold shimmer running through it, a gold frost. So pretty. This is the color that I was the most drawn to. I also really wanted bubbles, but by the time I went to go get it, it was already sold out. So I did not get a chance to get bubbles, but I wanted to get chintz and this was on sale. Um, so I was excited about that. And then I picked up two other frost lipsticks. I'm telling y'all, I am so into frost lipsticks right now. I just want all the frosty lips. So I, the shade that I've been wanting the longest, this one I've had in my cart for so long and I've just never committed to it, um, is the shade Plum Dandy. So I'll swatch all of these side by side so you can see. There we have Chintz. And then Plum Dandy which I just thought was such a pretty, kind of pinky, slightly mauve plum shade for the fall. Um, this just looked so pretty on the model. Um, so I got that, I actually wore that yesterday and it was so pretty. And then this shade I got because I thought it looked really cool. It was just really different, really unique, something I don't have in my collection at all. I honestly didn't think I was gonna love it that much, but I wore this to church yesterday I don't know if I've ever loved a lipstick as much as I love this. So this is O Lipstick, another frost. I cannot even explain how gorgeous this is on the lips. So maybe we'll use a little bit of this today. I kind of wanted to use chintz too because I haven't worn chintz yet. But those are the three frost lipsticks that I picked up. I mean, they're just, oh, they're so perfect for fall. So, so pretty, but let's do grayish. Maybe we'll just apply all the shades today just so you can see what they look like on the lips. Okay, let's do chintz first. So again, this is a limited edition bring back shade. I don't know how long this will be available. All right, so that's chintz. I definitely want to pair it with a different lip liner. Ooh, Mobs 147. I think this will be perfect with this. So I don't know what lip combo we're gonna land on, but we're just gonna play. Funny enough, applying chintz on the lips, it actually looks a little more cool toned than the swatch. Oh, I love it with this lip liner. Actually, I don't have a lot of dark lip liners from MAC. I'm sure chestnut or something similar to that would look really good too. Um, all right, I'm gonna do a little bit more grayish. 
Ooh, actually, grayish looks really pretty with this. So that is Chintz with grayish lip pencil and Mobs M147. Really, really pretty fall lip combo. All right, so that's lip combo number one. Just using a little bit of my Studio Fix powder so we can start fresh. So I wanna show y'all the lip I did yesterday because I just loved it so much. So I'm gonna start out with Plum. So that's Plum. I'm gonna show you one lip combo with Plum. So I did Plum Dandy. Oh, so pretty. And then I did Stone for Definition. If you like more of a pinky lip for fall, this, this is the combo. All right, back in with Plum. I mean, how fun is that? So pretty. And I'm normally not a pink lip wearer, but I love this combination. And it just has that slight gold frost to it. Oh, stunning. Okay, now, Taking this up a notch, O on top. Now, of course, you could just do O without Plum Dandy, but I don't feel like taking it all off, so I'm just gonna go on top with O. And this is where the magic happens. Isn't this color so perfect? So Plum Dandy, I feel like, is if you just want a little hint of frost, kind of more of a pinky vibe, but if you wanna take it to the next step, you wanna mature your lip into something a little bit more dramatic, then go with O. It's, it's like a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a reddish plum with a gold frost to it. It is so incredibly beautiful. I did not think I was gonna love this color as much as I do. All right, a little bit more plum, and then I'm gonna go back in with stone. Yeah, this is the lip I wore to church yesterday, and I was feeling so cute with this lip combo. How stunning is this? I think I'm gonna leave my lip like this because I just, oh, I love it. Okay, so let's finish off the eyes. I do have a little bit of mascara on my eyelid, I'm just gonna rub that away. And then I wanna add Sparkle Balm, I think. I don't know how well it will sit on top of this cake liner, but we're just gonna try it. This is the M130 Sparkle Balm. I think they have two different shades. But I mean, it's, oh, it's amazing. And I'm just gonna pat this all over my lid, all the way up to the brow. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. All right, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade, which is M160, it's like an icy white. It's one of their cream clay shadows that they came out with, Shelby Wilson. And I'm gonna pop that right on the inner corner. And then one final step, I'm gonna take Studio Fix powder and I'm gonna take it right on the underside of my wing. Sharpen that up, make it pop a little bit more. And then per usual, just right here in this little inner corner. Ooh, and I'm also gonna take some around my lip line. And that is the completed look. Eye and the lip, maybe I wouldn't pair these two together, but oh my gosh, the sparkle balm and the cake liner. I haven't noticed any transferring yet. I am not seeing any transferring of the cake liner, so that is a good sign, because the sparkle balm does have an emollients to it, so I was kind of worried about that, I don't know. This would be something I would have to wear all day just to make sure. This lip is everything. This lip screams fall. This is the fall lip. Like you could literally do nothing else on the rest of your face. Put this lip on, this is fall right here. It's, oh my gosh, it's stunning. 
gorgeous. I love it. I love it. All right, so that is the video. I hope y'all enjoyed this haul. I will start incorporating all of these new products into my routine. I mean, I already have, I just haven't been showing y'all. Um, but I just, I just needed some new textures, some new formulas. Um, like I always say, use what you have. Don't ever feel pressured to buy new makeup. Don't feel pressured to buy the new it product and don't listen to me just because I say I love something and it's so gorgeous and it's so perfect for fall that doesn't mean that you have to go out and buy it look at your collection see if you can create a lip like this or a glossy eye like this or some winged liner like this using the products that you already have in your makeup bag it's always fun to just play have fun get creative just get your hands in your makeup try new things you know before you take a shower at the end of the day or before you wash your face at the end of the day just throw some makeup on try some new techniques that um, maybe you wouldn't try when you're getting ready for work try some new techniques try some new products try mixing things together and see how they work because you just might find your new favorite makeup routine, makeup cocktail. I'm constantly finding new and fun ways to use my makeup and it just makes doing my makeup so much more fun. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today as always. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.